Here we go. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the other husband, you have the Rain Man back there. We have this beer from Oakham Ales in the UK. This is Oakham Ales Citra. Oakham. <laughs> so, like Citra, one, one hop pale ale. Uh, it's 4.6% alcohol by volume. It says over here that Oakham Ales brew this single variety beer using only Citra hops. We were the first UK brewery to commercially brew with Citra back in 2009. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? We don't really know. I don't. Now, anyway. I really like <laughs> Citra hops. Uh, very fruity hop. P problem with Citra, it fades really quickly and becomes a disgusting, bitter mess. Oh, no. So you never know so, if you're going to get there in time. <laughs> this, this, is the, this is the key to this, right? This is coming from the UK. So put brewed, fermented, put on a boat, shipped over here, gone through customs, went to the <laughs> LCBO, sat, sat in the LCBO warehouse for a while, then went to each different LCBO. So I wonder how they did that, because their best before is actually December 2014. Well, the beer won't go bad, it's just the hop Oh, the okay, the flavor will oh. modify. Yeah. Uh, fresh, you get a lot of mango, orange, lychee, mm. gooseberry, some mm. grapefruit, you know, stuff like that. Um, not fresh, you get bitter caffeine pill. Oh, joy. Oh. <laughs> joy, joy. Fresh, 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 fresh. I'm just trying to motivate That's the nice. beer into... And 4.6% alcohol, so we're looking at a nice light beer, too. Yeah. Very golden. Oh. That's lychee. You know lychee, come on. I don't know. You don't know lychee fruit? No. Oh, no, I think, oh I those think little I... spiny things. You open them up and there's a little white thing inside yeah, of it. That's exactly yeah. what they are. Yeah, that's what this smells like. Is it? I'm not getting any of those flavors. <laughs> oh, it smells <laughs> <odd>. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you just never know. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting that piney, sprucey piney. Okay, nice sweetness on the forefront. Mm -hmm. Very light, very light carbonation, mm -hmm. very light body. Um, a very light color, very light ABV. Everything's light. Mm -hmm. um, tasting gooseberry, tasting lychee for myself for the fruits, but then they fade to a bitterness that isn't as common for Citra, which is the bitterness of old Citra. That just that sitting on the back of the palate, Citra, mm -hmm. uh, because it's sitting right there on the back of your tongue, and it's just a weird bitterness. Yeah, it ain't moving. <laughs> But everything's light, everything's fruity until the back back end comes in. Only thing I wish is that we could have it fresh to know what it actually tastes yeah, like. Yeah, I bet fresh. you it was. Like I said, because it's not bad now, but it's no. definitely not hitting for me what it was describing. But like I say it's that aftertaste. But it doesn't linger. No, it doesn't stay around very long. Yeah. I mean, it it all matters how much citra they used to when they boiled it uh how long it sat in the bottle that's the thing we don't have a bottled on date we have a best before date and uh best before the 17th of december 2014 excuse me contains barley and wheat which makes sense since beer does it says it's supposed to have a dry bitter finish and it does have a dry bitter finish it does so that was intended um, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't really say anything bad about it other than I wish it was fresher. There's, it's very lacking on the hops, and I mean, uh, citra hops, you find them in a lot of the beers that I love, uh, mm -hmm. Crazy Canuck, the new Crazy Canuck has the citra in it, uh, the newer version of the, the, uh, Headstock IPA, um, it, it's just, it, it's in so many beers, and it's usually so good, but... I don't think they put it in that top shelf there, though. No, no, I don't no. think it was in there. No, no. A six. It's, it's just a little disappointing. It's nothing. But it's very drinkable. And there's nothing offensive about it. That's one man's opinion. <laughs> I'm rooting around five on this one. They're not doing it for me. 
That's fine. But I would, like, I mean, if you brought over some, I would certainly drink it again, but I wouldn't reach for it myself. I reached for it because I saw that label, and I'm like, ooh, what's this? There's something <laughs> about it that reminds me of the St. Peter's. There's something in there that reminds me of that. Uh, the English water? <laughs> that could be it. <laughs> you mean in England they don't use free-range coastal water? No, 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 they don't. I miss hippie beers from the West Coast that use free-range coastal waters. <laughs> I have a problem keeping my water anything but free-range. It just seems to go wherever it wants, but... Bye, YouTube. <laughs>